Okay, what makes 7b different is there's no picture provided on this one. So we have to take this information and turn it into a picture so we know what the force looks like. So let's read this. One force of 4.12 pounds acts on an object at an angle of 194.04 degrees. Let's draw a picture that describes that information. So in this case, uh, we're going to have... 194 is an angle that will end up in the second quad, or third quadrant because 180 goes to here and we're going to be a little bit more than that. And so that, ain't, that will be what the vector will look like. Now I'm going to label this here as F1 and we're given that the magnitude of that force is going to be 4.12 uh, and that's uh, 4 pounds, 4.12 4 pounds there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the angle, so we're going to do at, and this is 194.04 degrees. Now that would technically be measured over from there, and so that would be the, the first force. Now the second one is going to be, it says it's uh, 10 pounds, and the angle is 143.13. So 143 is going to be in the second quadrant, I'll draw it a little bit longer. And so this one, we said the magnitude was, we'll call that F2. This time the magnitude is given as 10. And again, the, uh, this will be at 143.13 uh, degrees. So we have our magnitude and degrees for each one. So that first angle goes down to here, the other angle goes down to there. So we have both the magnitude and the angles are labeled there. So next, we have to write out the forces uh, for each one. We want to change the, the picture here with magnitudes and angles uh, into components, I and J components. So let's start with the F1. So F1, the magnitude is 4.12. When we write that out for the I, we have to, we're going to use a cosine. So we're going to do 4.12 cosine 194.04. That's I. And then for the J component, we need to use sine. So we're going to do 4.12 sine of 194.04, and that's going to be J. So that's how you would write out the first force. Let's write out the second force. The second one uses the, has a magnitude of 10. So we're going to do 10 cosine of 143.13, and that's I, and then 10 we'll do sine 143.13 J. So that would be written out in component form. So we need to take all this, we have to turn it into decimals by using our calculator. On a test it's okay to use two decimal places uh, for everything when you're writing out the decimal equivalents. Uh, now, something interesting happens when you work this out. The way the numbers are set up here, we actually end up with whole numbers down here uh, when we write that out. So for this, we take 4.12 cosine 194, we actually just get negative 4i is what it turns out to be. Now this one comes out to be negative j when you put that in. And then for F2, that comes out to be negative 8i and then plus 6j. So again, because of the, the way the numbers are set up here, that's why we're getting these exact values that come up here when we uh, put that into the, in the calculator. So when we add this together, F1 plus F2, you get negative 12i plus, this is going to be negative 1 plus 6 is 5j. So we actually get whole numbers for this one. So because of that, when we find the magnitude, the magnitude of F1 plus F2, we're going to do the square root of negative 12 squared plus 5 squared. And that gives us square root of 144 plus 25, which is a square root of 169, which is going to be 13 we get for that one. So putting that in, we square all of them, we get 13. Uh, exactly, so now we want to get the, the angle, and the angle depends on what quadrant we're in. Now we have a negative x value and a positive y value, and so if we have negative x value and a positive y, we end up in the second quadrant. 
So second quadrant requires us to do the inverse tangent formula, but we have to add 180. And so we're going to do, so theta is equal to inverse tangent of y over x. We're going to do 5 over negative 12. And this time we do have to add 180 because we end up in the, this, if we were to draw out this vector or think of it as a, a coordinate, negative x and a positive uh, y, you'd end up in the second quadrant. So hence that's why we use the 180 here. If you put that into the, the calculator, then you get 157.4 degrees. That would be your direction. So the magnitude would be 13 and the direction is 157.4 degrees.